Well, we're one week away from Election Day for the February primary election, and the main focus on the ballot is the Wisconsin Supreme Court and the effects those results could have on the state. First News at 9's Kim Leadholm explains why this race is being watched so closely. Eyes are on the Wisconsin Supreme Court as the February primary nears. There are four judges running to replace Justice Patience Rogensack's seat. Two are considered conservative candidates, Jennifer Doro and Daniel Kelly, and two are considered liberal candidates, Everett Mitchell and Janet Protasewicz. Eau Claire City Clerk Nicholas Kerner says this election has seen a higher turnout than years past. This election has been busier than we anticipated, busier than a usual February election. We've had over 400 in-person absentee voters and over 1,500 people have returned their absentee ballots already. Kerner says he thinks the high turnout has to do with the effect this race could have in the state. And political analyst John Frank says there are a few reasons this election is showing so much interest. There are a number of issues that are coming up, uh, including uh, the validity of the 1849 uh, abortion law, uh, also uh, what could happen with the perceived gerrymandering. Uh, that case has been back and forth. Uh, and so th this could have a lot of consequences for some very uh, emotionally charged political issues in the state. But Frank says this election could also hint at what to expect in 2024. Wisconsin is a purple state, and being a purple state, uh, it, it has both in the 2016 and the 2020 elections been won by just a few thousand votes. And as a result, people are kind of looking at this then as kind of a precursor to the 2024 election and what might happen in Wisconsin politically, partisan politically, in 2024. Kerner says he thinks the high voter turnout will continue. We're expecting to have much more voters than we have in previous February elections. Um, our guess was around 8,000 to 10,000, which for a February election is quite a bit in the city. The primary is on February 21st. In Eau Claire, Kim Leadholm, First News at 9. Those interested in voting in the February primary still have time. Eau Claire community members have until Friday at 4 p.m. to vote in person absentee. Next Tuesday, polls are open from 7 a.m. until 8 p.m. across the state of Wisconsin as well.